this video, I want to just want to talk a little bit about what scientific knowledge is and what you know it means to grow our scientific knowledge. Uh, per, I've been reading some things out of this anthology, Philosophy of Science by Boyd, um, yeah, uh, Jasper and Trout. Gasper and Trout. Um, there's a lot of great things in here. Uh, if you are interested in philosophy, of, in, in the philosophy of science, personally, I, th I think. Um, and I just kind of been thinking about what it, what, what for, first of all, what scientific knowledge is, and what it means to grow such scientific knowledge. Um, you know, the growth of scientific knowledge is something that Carl, that Sir Karl Popper um, was. That's basically what he said. He has an, he has an awesome book. Uh, which is called the logic of scientific discovery. I think is what, is what, what it's called. There's a couple. There's a couple selections of it in here, uh, but I, I'm gonna try to buy that, buy that, buy that whole book. Um, in that in that book, a lot of what he does is he goes against scientific indu inductivism, it, or going against um, the inductive method of science. Uh, going, going against inductive logic and induction in in general, because people like Hillary Putnam and others are gonna are gonna are gonna argue that that scientific discovery and, ex, and explanation and, and and scientific knowledge is all an inductive thing, and um, get and growing our scientific knowledge is an inductive process. Um, Popper goes against that and says that it's that it's de that it's, de it's deductive, and that instead of instead of um, verifying certain scientific laws and uh, and um, uh, hy and uh, hypotheses, you are corroborating them. And I guess I want to go into in later videos following this when I when I'm home and I have my whiteboard. Um, more of what he says, but pretty much I want to think about what, first of all, what is what is scientific knowledge, and how do we grow it? Uh, how do we gain more? And that's what epistemology and philosophy of science is really all is really all 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 about. Um, epistemology is about the structure of of um, justification and what knowledge is and what a belief is, and. Epistemology relates to to the philosophy of science in that um, philosophy of science is about gaining more knowledge or gaining and growing our scientific knowledge, because Aristotle says that philosophy is about wonder. That's a, a quote. That's basically a very vague paraphrasing of that quote of from um, Aristotle. But philosophy is about wonder. And it's about the world and figuring out. Things about 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 the world, and scientific knowledge is um, knowledge gained about the world around us through certain um, experiments, observations, and um, uh, applications and um, testing. You know, we gain scientific knowledge by. Um, well, first of all, what Popper means by corroborating um, a theory or corroborating a law is that this certain law has withstood tons of tests and has and has not been falsified. Because Popper is about falsifying things, while people like Putnam and positivists before him um, are about verifying. So. To corroborate a theory um, is to put it through many tests and applications and experiments and um, finding that it has withstood those and um, saying that. But Putnam has you know, a, little, a, little, a little article against Popper which says that the, corro the, the, corro the, corro the corroboration of theories is, is, doesn't really involve the future in that when, and that's why it doesn't really work so well. Um, so there's varying thing there's varying things in in philosophy of science about what discovery is about what um about what explanation is um how we gain more scientific knowledge and the way about gaining about 
gaining this scientific knowledge. Um, the how and what of growing the, the our um, science, scientific knowledge. Um, you know, and I think what sci what scientific knowledge is is primarily um, th is knowledge about the world that we get. Uh, no matter how we get it through verification or falsification, you know, corroboration or whatever. No matter how we get it, it's um, by hitting. You know, no matter whatever experiments and tests and observations and applications we go through we hit upon this same a certain same truth or I shouldn't say truth because that has a lot of a lot of stuff hanging on with it that I, and I shouldn't use the word for this certain uh, discussion but um, scientific knowledge and growing it is you know go, going through all these things and, and, up, and observations and stuff and hitting upon the same thing the reason we have laws like the reason why I know this pen will drop if I drop it is because, you know, through the history of science, you know, through experiments and observations and tests and applications, we have verified the theory, the law of uh, gravitation, you know, and we know that that gravity works in a certain way, and we whatever test we do, we always hit upon this certain thing, and that's how things become law. We hit upon this certain um, thing that shows that shows itself to be correct, or oh, we hit upon a certain, you know, no matter no matter what we do, we always um, end, with, we always come back to it to a certain realization or truth, if you, if you want to use that word. Um, um, so, to grow it is, has, has to do with that. And um, I want to um, do a lot more videos in the philosophy of science and talk about a lot of these articles. Um, I have to write, I'm writing two writing samples to uh, get into grad school because I have interest in, in, in 19th, and, 19th and 20th century kind of philosophy and f philosophy of science. So um, I already have the continental philosophy one written and I'm trying, I'm trying to get my philosophy of science one together. Um, so that's why I'm thinking about this and I'm gonna, probably going to make some more videos and especially more videos once I get, um, I get I get back home and get to my whiteboard which is probably what is better for this kind of talks. Uh, if you have any questions or if you, or, or if you think um, that I've said something wrong or if you think that you can contribute to this discussion, please comment. I'd love to discuss with you and um, thank you for watching.